Maximize Magazine is a fairly new but popular magazine that's determined to be the practical guide to making windows easier. The editorial focus is pages and pages of windows tips, and Hillary Wagner, feature editor, is here to share some from their latest issue. Hillary, I'm sure there are millions of things we can do to adjust our whole windows experience, but what are some of the most basic things we can do to make, make the whole thing better? Well, when, um, the best place to start making changes is within program manager. Mm -hmm where we spend, I think, quite a bit of time. That's right. Um, a lot of people don't realize that there's no, there's no reason to keep um, program icons and mm -hmm. programs in the default groups that they're set up in originally. Okay. Um, you can like, change it around however it makes sense to you. So like whenever you install a program, usually it creates its own uh, program group and all that kind of stuff, that's but right. you can change that. You can yeah, there's no, that? No, ne no reason to keep it in that group. All right, well, let's go ahead and see how we might do that sort of thing. Um, OK, well, uh, one way to to rearrange your, your program manager group mm -hmm. is to set up project groups. And I did a sample here. Um, I call it Maximize Projects. Mm -hmm. um, within this group, you can see I have Microsoft Word documents. I have a card file, mm -hmm. um, a notepad, notepad program, um, an appointment list. And I can put anything I want in here, spreadsheets. Um, it doesn't have to all be the same program. So and, it's, it's more organized the way you're looking at it rather than the way the computer is going to be looking right, at it. Right. I spend it. a lot of time there, so I, it helps me to keep everything together. Um, and Another thing people don't realize about it is that they can um, rename their program groups. Mm -hmm. um, and the way you can do that is, is click once on a minimized group mm -hmm. to highlight it, press Alt-Enter, and you bring ah. up your program group properties box. And then you could um, name it anything you wanted to. Yeah. Um, I have it called Maximize Projects for now. I'll just, I'll just call it Maximize. And press OK, and you can see it changed the name of the program group. And one of the things, uh, as people will recognize from various program groups and from what you just had, is that we're not limited to the, the eight character names of DOS. That's right. Just it, it give here. it a descriptive name, okay. anything that makes sense to you. Another thing you can do with Program Manager, um, this doesn't really help your work efficiency, it's, it's just kind of fun, is to change Program Manager um, up at the top to whatever you want it to say. You can personalize Program Manager. Oh, cool. And what you need to do is go into Startup. Mm -hmm. um, we want to put a new item in there, so we're going to go File, New, Program Item. Um, and then under Description, you just put whatever you want to say. Um, we'll just call it PCTV for today. Mm -hmm. And the command line will read Program.exe, which is the file that runs Program Manager. And we'll click OK. And then how and do we get that to take over? We just double click on this, and you see it changes Program Manager. Wow, we could do that to sort of customize our various Windows machines around here. That's right. Um, now, another thing I, I noticed that happens with, uh, with Windows is that you, it, once you start installing a, a bunch of applications, pretty soon you've got program groups spread out all over the place. Is there anything we can do to clean up that kind of clutter? Well, you actually can create subgroups, okay. although um, Microsoft won't tell you that you can within Windows 3.1. Mm -hmm. But in our June issue of Maximize, Hardin Brothers tells us in one of his articles how to do that. And um, you do that using Write, which is the word processing program that comes with Windows. Write in the and, accessories mm -hmm. group. Okay. And also Object Packager. Okay. which will embed documents. Um, it can embed any kind of program into a, into a file. You've kind of explained to us the theory or the idea behind it. Could mm -hmm. you kind of give us an idea of what it looks like? Yeah, I set up um, an odds and ends group right mm -hmm. here. And this is where I'm going to have my all my subgroups mm -hmm. when I clean up my machine. Um, I started off with a write file here, you'll see, that has all my help and readme files, because they get strewn all over the different groups. Oh, sure. um, so if I so that write on. file is actually effectively going to become a subgroup. That's right. Okay. See, I just opened up the write file, and you can see I have these icons in here, but when I double-click on them, it's actually going to bring up the help file. That's cool. And so we can do is, that with any of the, of, of the uh, items you put in that file? That's right. Okay, so uh, now that's something somebody would probably want to check out your latest issue of Maximize to find yeah. out exactly how to do. We have the step-by-step -step for that in there. That'll be useful. Now, what happens, uh, a lot of people know that you can, you can have an auto-save whenever you exit Windows, uh, but say you don't want it to auto-save every single time. Is there a way you can just save the settings that you've just made uh, without having it auto-save That's right. Every time? You can save your settings without exiting Windows, mm -hmm. um, and all you have to do is press Alt, and Shift, I'm sorry, Shift, Alt, F4, all at the same time, and it'll automatically save all your settings. There's no need to exit Windows. Windows. So we can really uh, sort of take Windows by the horns and uh, rearrange it the way we want to. That's right. Even change the name of the program manager, uh, as well as create subdir uh, subdirectories through the use of the, the right program. Well, somebody will definitely want to check out uh, Maximize to find out how to do all those things. I Thanks a lot, so. Hillary. Thank you. Is there a shortcut to learning these Windows secrets? Victoria may have the answer.